Hello friends. Hi. I am going to show you how to do an acrylic pour. I know you've seen me post lots of pictures like this is an example of one that we did and um, I, lots of people have asked me how to do it so I'm going to go through step by step and um, I'm going to show you first the supplies. Workspace. This is my dining room table. Lovely. I'm sure this is what everybody's looked like, isn't it? You don't actually eat at it. Supplies. This is called Floetrol. This actually thins the acrylic paint. Also, you need a silicone lubricant. This is what I got. Um, I got them both off of Amazon. I know you can get this Floetrol just from even like um, True Value or Lowe's or something like that, but a lot of different liquid silicone lubricants can work. But then you need any old um, uh, acrylic paints. I have many different varieties and uh, Michael's is my friend. So I have set up a little box that I've just, because all the paint is gonna go everywhere with this. So it's a messy thing. I've set up some of it to begin with, but what you're going to do is set up your different colors that you want in your palette. Right now I'm gonna use, um, I have a silver, a black, um, a white, a pink, and I'm gonna do my last color just to show you how I set it up. I'm gonna do a brighter pink in here, and all I'm doing, I'm putting in about that much, and then you're going to thin it with your Floetrol. I'm just putting in about that much of the Floetrol. No rocket science here. And all the Floetrol does is it thins it. It's just gonna make it run on the paper a little bit more. Now, some paints um, are thicker. Like when you get some of these big tubes like this, um, it's really thick and you can even add a little bit of water to it if you need to. So if that's the case, then um, you just put um, like the gray, the silver that I used was really thick, so I added some water to it. Now once you've got each of your colors thinned, you're gonna add about four or five drops, squirt of silicone to each of your colors. And um, I'm gonna leave my black without, a, um, you wanna leave one main color without it. Either a black or a white is a good um, base color to leave without it. And you don't wanna stir it too much, just a little bit. Where'd my pink stirrer go? And then, um, so leave one color without the silicone. And stir a little bit. Now you're going to make your pour. And this is kind of fun. You're gonna have one bigger cup. So this is my main cup. I'm gonna pour a little bit of my black just in the bottom like this. And then I'm gonna put this over here so you can, you can see it. And then you're gonna start just layering some colors. You're just gonna go maybe like this like this I'm gonna try to hold this still while I pour and I'll try to do it fast so you don't get too bored and you want to try to just use up all your paint I'm gonna probably save a little bit of my black or a little bit of my colors that I may use on my canvas to help it spread. I had a lot of people asking me how to do this, so I thought I'd do just a little video. I think I'm gonna post a second video of a different way to do it too, a different way you can do a swipe. That's pretty cool too. And faster, faster, doesn't have to be pretty. Faster, faster. All right, just for sake of time, we're gonna leave it at that. Actually, for some reason I just can't seem to stop. And, um, all right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over to our canvas. 
This is our blank canvas. Now you have your cup like this and it's gonna be messy. It's gonna go everywhere. So as you can see, my box is just out on a couple sticks just draped over top. Your pour goes like this, goes over top. It's okay, that's some coming out the side, that's all right. Now, when I say, I'm actually gonna use a little bit of my white over here, you can use any of your colors, because all that does is it just, your other colors are just gonna blend into it as it runs out. I might use a little, and see, look at what it's already doing. That's what it's already doing, and it's super cool. So I'm just doing a little bit of this. And paper towels. Make way so I don't knock everything over. All right, so as we kind of tap it a little bit, I'm going to lift it. And this is what it does. And those circles that you see in there are what are called cells. And we play with those a little bit. So now here's the fun part, is you actually get to kind of make your picture how you want it. I'm gonna turn the camera a little bit and probably get paint on my phone, but it's all for art. Your hand's gonna get messy, and um, you're just gonna start moving it. You start letting it drift, just let, let it run off the side, and you kind of bring out the colors you want. So I like that pink that's in the middle I like those black cells in the corner, so I'm gonna keep that a little bit. And then, so I'm gonna go lean it back that way a little bit too. I'm gonna to come back towards my thumb. And I'm just letting it run. And as you can see, it just forms what it wants, which is pretty amazing. You wanna get a lot of the paint off. If it gets too thick, it'll dry too thick. It'll dry like um, with canyons and valleys in it and you don't want that. So you do wanna get um, a lot of the paint to run off. Before I get too much of that on my hand, well, I have to, actually, because I have to get this corner. Coming my way on my hand, here it goes. I'm gonna get this corner. Come on, paint. Super cool. That's why we have paper towels. This is what it's doing. And then I'm gonna show you, so here's what we got going on here. Now, um, give me one moment to wipe off my hand because I'm gonna show you another aspect that you can do. Um, I have just a little butane torch. Now, if you look close and we find some of these areas, we can bring out, see if we do this close, it brings out some of the cells. It, um, by any areas, it'll bring out some of the silicone that we do that to. So, oh, yeah, I can't do this, I'm not multitasking very well but it brings out some of the cells like that. So, if I don't make my house on fire, I probably shouldn't do that close to the newspaper. I'm taking an artistic risk, but that's what the flame does, is it brings out more of the cells. So, I let my flame go out, but here is our finished product. Pretty cool, will give us an aerial view. I will take a picture, maybe, maybe. All right, so that's what it is, thank you. Hope you enjoy, hope you make it. Let me know if you have any questions.